here in the studio, we have Kyle Grant. Kyle, thank you for being here. Thanks, Jeff. Greetings, all. Back from the cleaner half of the Carolinas, the north, I've learned a few things about myself in my hometown of Santa Cruz. I wanted to take this time to share some of that wisdom with you now. Believe it or not, not all cities in America are exactly like our perfect bubble here on the coast of California. Home, for me in North Carolina, is a small growing town known as Winston-Salem, tobacco country. We may not have the Boardwalk, Westcliff, the Redwoods, In-N-Out Burger, Dark Beer, or Hippies, but we do have a few community attractions of our own. Walmart, the NRA, Sweet Tea, and Southern Hospitality. The most popular by far being Walmart. In Winston, Walmart is an event. It's something to do on a Saturday night. Being from such a progressive town like Santa Cruz, I had never been to Walmart before. They are impressive. Now I can stock up on grits, sweet potatoes, and semi-automatic weapons all in one stop. Such convenience. And great stocking stuffers, too. In fact, I'm thinking of becoming a greeter at the local store just to keep my finger on the pulse of the community. Now, in an effort to infuse a bit of Santa Cruz into my new motherland, I've been gathering some Santa Cruzans to bring back with me. We're overcrowded here anyway, and Winston could use a little cultural diversity. Thanks to a task force provided by Tony Madrigal, I've collected two bitchy lesbians from Saturn Cafe, local crazy Mike Tomasi, and half of the employees from Old School Shoes. I'm still working on one of the Lulu's locations, Asian Rose, Planet Fresh, The Umbrella Man, and The Light Brown Apple Moth. Once collection is complete, the task force will give the people to me, and I will hand them over to the city of Winston. Convincing people to move across the country is not easy. Some selling points that seem to have been the most effective so far are that the age of consent in North Carolina is 16 years old, except for sodomy, naturally. Everyone owns a gun. I feel much safer. Bars can serve alcohol until 3 a.m. We're the birthplace of the Krispy Kreme. Beat that, Marinis. We're getting a Trader Joe's. Prostitution and loitering are encouraged, and women are allowed to go topless in public. In addition, we have plenty of the amenities you're already used to living here in Santa Cruz, such as corporate takeover, the beach flats, plenty of chai, a lack of public restrooms, and gays and entertainment. Though in the South, they've implemented a don't ask, don't tell policy. So we just assume that the graceful male dancers in the tights and the 250 pound drag queen who steals the show in the local performance of the holiday favorite, the Nutcracker, are straight. No need to ruin this classic for the locals. You might be interested to know that, like California, we too have Mexicans. We just call them black people instead. Shut up. Also, like California, we have movie stars. I've met more famous people in three months in North Carolina than I have in 24 years in star-studded California. First, I met the elderly couple who joined Sasha Baron Cohen for an etiquette dinner in the smash hit Borat. And only last week, I ran into Dan Marino, whose role in the hysterical film Ace Ventura Pet Detective made him a pop culture icon. And in case you need one more reason to move to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, let me just say that things are more ordered in the South, less chaotic. Maybe it's all the guns that keep it that way, I don't know. Anyway, life is simpler, more divided, more black and white, so to speak. There are separate salons for Caucasians, African Americans, or Asian hair types. You never have to remember anyone's name. They're all ma'am or y'all. And it's always assumed that you want eight tablespoons of sugar dumped into your tea with every meal. How thoughtful. So think about it. Maybe a change in scenery is just what you need, and Winston could be just the place. Until then, brethren, see you on the other side of the Appalachians and the Mississippi. Goodbye, y'all. <laughs>